Hey there, it's Jen and I'm here to share a little, a quick process video with you from Allie Edwards. I find that when I have a lot of words I want to say, a hybrid process is the approach that I like the most. So I am using the, um, every, every month Allie comes out with a new digital kit. And so I'm using the August digital kit. This is a, actually a 4x6 card from the kit and I just threw it onto, it had a white background, so I just threw it onto an 8.5 by 11 canvas um, and typed my journaling beneath it. I knew I had two 3 by 4 photos that I wanted to print out, and so I just made sure I left enough space for those here. And I'm going to cut these apart, but um, it was really super easy to do in Photoshop, but I think you could do it in Word even. Um, just open up the card and put it on the page where you want it and type up some journaling beneath it. I also have my Lost and Found Story Kit, the physical story kit that I'm going to use on this page, I think. There's a lot of space at the bottom and I thought I could put patterned paper there. But then I remembered I had these cute circles and I don't know if it's going to be too much to use these circles, but I thought I might try it. it I think it's a little too much, um, but maybe one and then two smaller circles on the side. I'm not sure, but I liked the idea of this is a story about kind of talking about how my sister is living the farm life. And I, I scrapbook a lot about like farm pictures from my sister's house because it's just beautiful there and I take a lot of photos there. But um, I wanted to specifically talk about how I've never been the one that wants to go like have to make a trip into town or be in the middle of nowhere and my sister didn't either but she's there and living it and she rides a four-wheeler to get the mail she takes care of their goat oh I said goat but it's really a sheep so I might need to print this out again um, and the squash zucchini and raspberries and strawberries and herbs and potatoes and all the stuff that they grow in the garden there and she does that every day which is crazy and cool and so my friend and I went over for dinner and she just kept saying who is this girl and I had to agree the person my little sister has become is so 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 strangely wonderful I put so twice as well I might just let that slide because I'm kind of lazy and I don't really care but we'll see if I reprint it but I thought I would just do a process video that's real time because I Honestly, I don't have a lot of time to voice this over later, but also because I think this is going to be super quick. So I'm just cutting my photos in half here. I printed two 3x4s on a 4x6 piece of photo paper, and I used glossy photo paper. And I'm just going to put those here in the center like that. Just center them between the journaling and the, and the um, title. And I think... I really like unexpected discovery. I also like part of the journey. Um, open to possibilities actually works really well because, like I mentioned, I never thought she would <laughs> be this kind of person, and neither did she. So maybe that one would work. And I was thinking some of these circles might look really cute um, on the inside of this or and or on the outsides of it. And I'm just going to see if it if they match well enough. Um, although I don't know that these really go with the theme. So I also have these from older story kits and I think one of them might be from a Day in the Life story kit, but there was a Me story kit, um, the Numbers story kit, and um, another one that had these larger circles. And so I really like the Love This, but it's not really a match for the colors. This matters isn't really a match to the colors either. I could just do today's story and have it be gray. And if I pop it up, then it will give it a little bit of dimension and that might work nicely. I like go your own way. And like I said, it doesn't really go with the doesn't really go with the theme necessarily of the page, but see, I feel like these are a little bit too small. And I don't know if doing three of these is too much. I think it is. So I think I need to find something to go on the other sides of these. Or I can put this, I can put it off the bottom and see if there's something else I want to put in this space. So I'm going to look for something and then I'll come back and show okay, you. Okay, so I remembered I had these from the Lens Story Kit that I never used. And I don't think I want to use the large inner circles, but I think it might be kind of fun to do 
some of the circles at the bottom that are like just have these kind of bounce around maybe and so I could put this one down and they kind of match it I don't know they might be too big I could just I kind of like this heart one too just do like a bunch of circles at the bottom and maybe I do include this one from the Lost and Found story kit. I kind of like the hashtag and I like the pop of red since there's red here, but I feel like I would need one more pop of red. Now I could move these up and put this story down here and I kind of like that. And then I'm just going to find some other stuff to mix in here. Maybe I, I do another one of these unexpected discovery and maybe this one goes off the bottom. I'm going to play around with the circles a little bit. Okay, so in the end, I think what I want to do, because I don't want it to be super heavy down here, even though it's nice to have the heavier elements at the bottom, I think what I want to do is just place these down at the bottom um, or <laughs> now that I just said that or I could cut this off and put a pattern paper or something at the top and and put this at the top instead um, you know what I might see what that looks like so let's try okay, that. So I found this cool wood grain paper that is from Fancy Pants from the Life is Beautiful collection and I think what I'm going to do I like the idea of the wood because it's kind of barney right and um, so I think what I'm going to do is just cut this down to eight and a half by eleven Oops. and I'm going to use that for my background and I think I do like the idea of having that um, that circle at the top so we're going to try that and I when I do a layout like this where I'm focused on the story and it's really simple I want to keep the design pretty clean and so that's a little bit of a struggle for me because I like to pile things on but I really love the look of it and so I'm constantly trying to get that look okay so I think what I'll do is I'll cut off the bottom I'm going to leave enough space so it's kind of equally distributed. I might cut a little bit off the top too, actually. Or I could leave a little bit of the wood grain at the bottom too. I like that idea. So you can see there's a little bit at the bottom. I like that. Okay, so I'll put my photos like this. Put this story there and then open to the possibilities at the top. And I think I like the heart in the middle. Now, the question is, do I want it right there? Or do I want it to kind of like that? I think I like it to where it's cut off, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I just like to put pieces around the edges and then a little bit in the middle so I'm gonna leave a little space at the bottom there okay and I will have to trim this a little bit I can see that it's a little off but that's okay um, and then what I'm gonna do with my photos if I want them centered what I like to do is put adhesive on both of them and then kind of hover them hold them um, so I can get them centered ish I don't care if it's exact that's not a big deal to me but I want it to be decently centered okay and then I'll put my this story little chipboard piece that's from the lost and found kit okay and then I'm going to adhere this at the top and I'm going to make it so that um, open to the possibilities and the two dots are showing. And I want it to be, I don't want it to be too far over actually. I want it to be so that there's a little bit of this word story going on the other side of it. I just think that's more 
visually pleasing so it's not too far over and I'm going to cut that off before I decide where I want to or how I want to adhere that so let me just grab my scissors here these are some Tim Holtz scissors and I'm using them because they are non-stick okay so I like that and then I can just stick my circle on there and I'll cut that off too. And the Tim Holtz scissors are good for trimming that as well because um, they cut through a lot. And this is going to be about half the circle that's going to fit in here because I want an equal amount of distance all around it. Okay, and this cuts through anything so it works well. There we go. And I think what I want to do, I want to staple that because I like a good staple. And I'm going to, let's see, I don't think I can reach to staple this story. So I won't. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna keep it that simple. Maybe I'll put a couple of enamel dots on either side of this actually. So let me just take a flip through. I, I like the idea of doing blue. I know I have some blue Maybe I'll use these. No, I have some blue ones that are on a little sheet that's open and if it's easier to get to, these ones right here. I don't know if that's quite the right color. Oh, this one works better. Okay, let's see if I want this or not. Uh, I actually don't think I do. It looks weird because this is open. Um, so, I'm not going to do that. Although I could just scatter them. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe I'll do a big one there. Just to kind of, um, I don't know, have some more circles going on. I don't know if I really need it, honestly. Well, I kind of like it. I'm just going to go with it because I never use my enamel dots and I need to use them up. So there we go. We're going to go with it. Um, and then I just want to stamp the date and I'm going to circle an awesome story. And I'm going to just use a gray pen to just circle that. And I did it really messy and that's totally fine with me. Um, so I will just grab my roller date stamp and I'm just going to do the month and year because it doesn't really matter exactly what day although I did say on this day so it was last Sunday so I'll just look at my calendar real quick and it looks like it was the 6th so I'll do August 6th um, I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle at the bottom and I'm going to do gray ink and I think what I'll use is the Ali Edwards St. Helens gray ink for that and I'm just going to stamp it off because I use my stamp with black ink a lot just so that it's not too dark in some spaces and that's good enough so that is going to complete this super simple hybrid page. Um, I definitely encourage you to try out these digital products because it can help you create a layout like that. So all I did was, again, drop a 4x6 card onto my 85 by 11 sheet of paper, um, typed my journaling beneath it. Now, if you uh, wanted to, if you just make 12 by 12 layouts, you could easily put this square onto a larger layout obviously um, and you can still do a hybrid layout that way and then mix it with some physical products just to spice it up a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again very soon.